now let's see about data types in java language data types are mainly useful in order to declare variables which can store values java is a strongly typed language that means in java variable declarations are compulsory whereas python is loosely typed language that means in python variable declarations are not necessary so before using the variable we have to declare the variable uh, in java we can classify data types into two types first one is primitive data types second one is non primitive data types uh, first let's see the primitive data types primitive data types are nothing but built in data types or basic data types uh, we can classify primitive data type into two types the first one is numeric data type so primitive data types are classified into two types so first one is numeric data types numeric data types whereas the second one is non numeric data types second one is non numeric data types again numeric data types are classified into two types the first one is integer data types integer data types whereas the second one is floating point data types second one is floating point data types floating point data types so likewise here also uh, the non numeric data type is classified into two types first one is char whereas the second one is uh, boolean okay uh, now let's see about integer data types integer data types means by using integer data types uh, we can declare integer variable uh, which can store uh, integer values okay uh, there are four integer data types are available the first one is byte second one is short third one is int fourth one is long so by using these four uh, we can store uh, integer values uh, and the second one is floating point data types uh, we have uh, two types of floating point data types are available so first one is float whereas the second one is double so by using these two we can store uh, floating point numbers and here we have a character data type so by using character data type we can store a single character it may be either uh, an alphabet or a digit or a symbol okay next one is boolean so boolean means we can store uh, either true or false uh, now let's see uh, what is the size of each data type and range of each data type and what is the default value of each data type so a data type a size in bytes a range default value an example Uh, so first let us write uh, integer data types so the integer data types are uh, first one is byte uh, second one short third one int fourth one long so these four are integer data types uh, next we have floating point data types uh, we have two floating point data types so first one float second one double and uh, next we have uh, character data type next we have boolean data type Uh, here mainly there are uh, two types of data types are available unsigned data type signed data type so mainly we have uh, two types of data types are available unsigned data types whereas the second one is uh, signed data type uh, first let's see what is unsigned data type uh, the name itself specifies the meaning unsigned means there is no sign uh, if there is no sign then the default sign is positive so unsigned means uh, unsigned data type allows us to store only positive values uh, whereas signed data type means we can have a sign it may be either positive or negative so that means signed data type allows us to store both positive and negative numbers uh, let us calculate the range of unsigned and signed uh, let we have two bits of data let we have two bits of data so in two bits of data how many numbers we can store so two bits means the bit may be either 0 or 1 so totally we can get four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 11 so if there are two bits then how many numbers we can store 2 power 2 numbers so 2 power 2 means what four numbers so if there are two bits then totally we can store four numbers so if you take unsigned then how many numbers it can store four numbers uh, the minimum positive number is 0 whereas how many numbers it can store here four numbers so from 0 to 3 so unsigned means 
uh, we can store the numbers from 0 to 3. So, 0 is the minimum number, whereas 3 is the maximum number. Okay. Uh, now, let us write the formula here. So, 0 to 0 to here what is n value? Here n represents number of bits. n represents number of bits. So, 2 power 2 minus 1 that is nothing but 2 power 2. So, 0 to how we can get 3 here? 2 power 2 minus 1 where 2 represents number of bits. What is 2 power 2? 4. So, 4 minus 1 means 3. So, 0 to 2 power n minus 1. So, this is the range of unsigned data type. So, 0 to 2 power n represents number of bits. So, what are the number of bits here? 2 bits. So, 0 to 2 power 2. 2 power 2 means 4. 4 minus 1 means 3. So, likewise, we have to derive the formula for signed data type. So, how many numbers we can store? 4 numbers. Here, signed data type means we can store negative numbers as well as positive numbers. Okay. So, coming to the negative number. What is the maximum negative number? Minus 1. After that, we can have minus 2. So, we can store the numbers from minus 2 to 2. So, we can store minus 2, minus 1. So, these two are the negative numbers. Here, totally we can store 4 numbers. <coughs> so, out of 4 numbers, the first two are negative numbers, whereas the next two are positive numbers. So, we can store minus 2, minus 1. Next to positive numbers, we can store 2 numbers, 0 and 1. 0 and 1. So, 0 is the minimum positive number. Next 1 is the next positive number. So, minus 2 through 1. So, this is the range of the signed data type. So, how we can get 2 here? So, minus 2 power. What is n value here? n means 2. So, 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1. So, minus 2 power n minus 1. 2. Here, we need to have 1. So, how to get 1? 2 power n minus 1. n value 2. So, 2 minus 1 means 1. So, 2 power 2 minus 1 means 2 power 1. Okay. So, 2 power 1 minus 1. So, that is nothing but 1. Okay. So, this is the range of signed data type. Whereas, this is the range of unsigned data type. So, in this uh, data types, these two are nothing but unsigned data types. Whereas, the first two, 6 are signed data types. Okay. Now, let us uh, write the sizes in terms of bytes. The size of a byte is 1 byte. Here, we are writing in terms of bytes. 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Okay. So, here n value is 8 for byte. Okay. <coughs> Next, the size of short is 2 bytes. The size of integer is 4 bytes. The size of long is 4 bytes. The size of float is 4 bytes. The size of double is 8 bytes. Whereas, the size of the car is 2 bytes here. Uh, in uh, C language, uh, the size of a car is 1 byte. Whereas, in Java language, the size of a car is 2 bytes. Uh, why? Because here, uh, in C, it is ASCII character system. Whereas, in Java, it is uh, Unicode system. It uses Unicode system. Uh, Unicode system means uh, uh, we can represent any language with the help of uh, this character. We can represent Telugu, Tamil, Malayalam. Canada, Borea, we can represent any language here. Okay, so here we can use this uh, for that with the help of this car. So in C or C, the size of a car is 1 byte, whereas in Java, the size of a car is 2 bytes. Why? Because it uses Unicode representation. Unicode means with the help of Unicode representation, we can represent any language data. Okay, next, the size of a boolean is uh, it may be uh, exactly it is 1 bit. Because it can store either a true or false. Okay. Uh, next, uh, let us write the range here. Uh, here, uh, these uh, six are uh, signed data types. So, what is the range of uh, byte here? It is a signed data type. So, minus two power n minus one to two power n minus one minus one. Here, what is n value? One byte. So, one byte means eight bits. So, minus two power eight minus one. That means minus two power seven. Two power seven means one twenty eight. So, minus 128 to 128 minus 1. That is nothing but 127. Next year, the default value is 0. If you don't perform any initialization, if you don't perform any initialization, then 0 will be stored. Some example is byte A is equal to, let us source some value <laughs> like this. Next, the size of A short is 2 bytes. And next, we have to calculate the range. Here, these 6 are signed data types only. So, minus 2 power. Here, what is n value? 2 bytes. So, 2 bytes means 2 into 8 bits. 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. So, 2 into 8 means 16. 
so minus 2 power 16 minus 2 power 16 means minus 32,768 2 32,768 minus 1 means 32,767 here also the default value is 0 next some example int a is equal to same example but we can store up to 32,767 let us store some 25,000 <coughs> it is not possible to store 25,000 in a byte why because the maximum number we can store in a byte variable is 147 only okay and the next one is integer the size of integer is 4 bytes let us write the range here so minus 2 power what is the n value here 4 bytes so 4 into 8 means 32 so minus 2 power uh, uh, 2 power 32 minus 1 means 31 so minus 2 power 31 to 2 power 31 minus 1 uh, the default value is 0 only uh, some example uh, yeah here we have short here not integer here we have integer okay example some int a is equal to some 65735 like that next the size of a long is 8 bytes uh, let us write the range here so here uh, 8 bytes so 8 into 1 byte is equal to 8 bits so 8 into 8 means 64 64 minus 1 means what minus 2 power 63 to 2 power 63 minus 1 the default value is 0 only next long a is equal to uh, store some value some 150,000 value like that uh, next float the size of your float is 4 bytes uh, whereas the range of float is 3.4 e 38 to 3.4 e minus 38 here 3.4 means mantis Mantis i means it may be either integer value or floating point value. Exponent is 38 plus 38. 2, what is the, this is the minimum value. Whereas what is the maximum value? 3.4 e minus 38. Okay. So this is nothing but exponent value. Exponent value must be integer only. Exponent value should not be a floating point number. Okay. Uh, next, the default value here is uh, uh, 0, 0.0. Uh, next if you want to store uh, a floating point number explicitly then it should be suffixed with the uh, f so 1.2 f like that here f represents a floating point number we can use either small f or capital f why because by default uh, uh, a floating point number means double number so double number will be treated as a floating point number so if you want to store a floating point number explicitly then it should ends with either small f or capital f uh, the only difference between float and double is uh, after this decimal point uh, uh, if you want to store uh, some four to six digits then we can go for uh, float whereas after the decimal point after the decimal point 123 point after this decimal point if you want to store some uh, uh, 12 4, 12 13 14 15 16 digits like that if you want to store more than 12 digits from 12 to 14 or some 14 to 16 uh, then we have to go for double that is the major difference between float and double so float means after the decimal point maximum we can store uh, four to six digits whereas double means after the decimal point we can store some uh, uh, 12 digits 13 digits 14 digits like that 12 to 14 digits that is the only difference and uh, next uh, the size of your float is eight bytes now let us write the range of the double the range of the double is uh, three uh, here it is very very easy to remember uh, the size of the double 3.4 by 2 means 1.7 <coughs> so 1.7 e in between 3 and 8 let us place 0 so 3082 3.4 by 2 means what 1.7 e minus 308 here also the default value is 0 I am sorry here the here what is the data type here the data type is float whereas here the data type is double if you want to store uh, a double number then there is no need to use uh, small d or capital d why because by default double will be considered as a floating point number uh, if you want we can suffix with uh, small d capital d d specifies that it is a double number okay but it is not necessary why because java compiler by default treats that value as a double number only uh, next uh, the size of a carry is two bytes so these two are uh, two signed data types or unsigned data types these two are unsigned data types so what is the formula here 0 to 2 power n minus 1 so 0 to uh, 2 bytes 2 bytes means 2 into 8 16 bits so 2 power 16 means 65536 
so 65,535. Here the default value is 0, so 0 means space, space will be stored. Example, cal a is equal to, within the single quotation, we can store either uh, an alphabet or digit or symbol. And the next one is boolean, actually there is uh, no size for the boolean because it can store either true or false. There is no need to specify any size here. Uh, in range also there is no specific range, uh, but here it can store two, val two values, either true or false. Uh, here uh, it can store how many values? Two values. Boolean stores two values. True, the first value is true, whereas the second value is false. Here uh, true and one are uh, not same, true and one are different. <coughs> Likewise, false and zero are different. Okay. Uh, next example, the example for the boolean is very very simple. So boolean a is equal to, we can store either true or false. Don't store 1 here. If you store 1 here, then it will become integer value. So compiler generates error message here. So boolean a is equal to 2. Next boolean b is equal to false like that. Uh, here the default value for the boolean is uh, false. So by default, by default in boolean, what value will be stored? False will be stored. And this is the example. So boolean a is equal to true, boolean b is equal to false like that. Here the range of floating point data type is 3.4e-38 to 3.4e-38. This is the minimum value. Whereas this is the maximum value. Uh, likewise the range of double is 1.7e-308 to 1.7e plus 308. So this is the minimum value whereas this is the maximum value. Uh, the second type of data type is uh, non-primitive data types. Uh, non-primitive data types are uh, strings, uh, arrays, um, classes, interfaces. Uh, here in Java, string is a class. So by using string class, we can create some objects. Uh, string means a collection of characters. Uh, we know what is an array. Array is a collection of similar data type elements uh, which are stored in uh, adjacent memory locations. Uh, classes are essential part of Java program. A class is a collection of variables and methods. Uh, interface is similar to a class, uh, but the major difference between interface and class is uh, interface contains only method declaration. Uh, interfaces doesn't contain method definition. Uh, interfaces are mainly useful in order to implement uh, multiple inheritance. Uh, we will discuss about uh, all these non-primitive data types such as strings, arrays, classes, interfaces in detail in uh, upcoming videos.